Hello, this is Chris Vance with a uh, add-on tutorial for the uh, bone tool. I wanted to show you guys what happens when the bone tool is messed up. And this is a real pain. See how this character looks fine here? And you see I've got him on uh, right here on an armature. The whole body is on this armature. See? And what I wanted to do with him is, the problem is these are all on different levels and if you look in these, in each one of these uh, graphic parts, like this one, see where the uh, transformation point, that's where the bone goes, right? But then when you go in here, this one is almost right compared to the transformation point, although it should be more over this way. But, you see how when I move that, it all of a sudden connected to this leg? And that's the type of thing that happens. See, it gave a keyframe. We don't, we don't want that keyframe right now. Clear pose. But what I'm saying is, it, it messes up the whole... I mean, look at this one here. Do you see where that transformation point is? When you go in here, the registration point is over here. It's just a little bit off. And it's the same way on this one. Now I don't see where the, the uh, registration point is here, and yet when you go back out, the transformation point is here. So there's a little difference between there and there. But I noticed when I started to try to move this, like I'm trying to do a stance where he just kind of moves back and forth. This is his stand mode, you know what I mean? So I'd like to make him waver back and forth a little bit. Well, I've got him rigged and everything, but I have them all on different layers, and none of the registration points are exactly right. I mean, look look at the, even the leg here. Look at this leg. There's the, the transformation point where the bone is, but when I go in here, the registration point is here in the center. It needs to be where the transformation point is exactly, and I'll show you why. Okay, so when I come out here, and I go, okay, I would like for him to, I, I was thinking, I want him to fall back on this back leg. So I select the bone tool, you know, and, uh, or, you know, the selection tool, which selects the bone tool. And I go, okay, I'm going to turn this foot up, right? And then I want to select certain parts of his body because I want this leg to stay the same. But I want the rest of his body to go down on this back leg, right? So I'm going to select all of this and this hand and this hand and this leg and that leg. Yeah, I want that leg too. So you can see all the things that are selected, right? And then I'm going to go, okay, keyframe them down a little bit. I want that leg to go down from where he was. Okay, now that looks pretty straightforward. It's like, yeah, that, hey, that worked pretty good. But you can even see the ripping starting to happen here. See that leg? See that right leg? It's ripping right there. See it? But, I mean, you can almost get away with it doing something like that. But then I'd like to go, okay... Uh, now I want his hands to move back and forth a little bit, so I, gra I, I don't want to use this, the uh, transformation point, I want to use the bone tool, and I'm going to select this, okay, I want his arms, this arm to move forward a little, and this arm to move back a little bit, okay, so now he kind of goes down and his arms move back a little bit, it still looks okay, you know, but then I got up in here and I wanted to, Okay, now I want to move his this leg, uh, shift this leg back a little bit, or maybe, you know, up a little bit in position. And this leg, bring forward a little bit, you know. Let's see what that did. And I found that because it's the way it is, 
when I come back here and I want to I want to try and move the stuff back uh, it starts to rip because now I was going to put this leg down and, and bring this leg up a little Well, it's, it, I mean, it worked this time a little bit, but, you know, uh, it was just, it was ripping all apart, and, they, you know, I went to try and straighten one, a part of it, like I go, oh, look, there's a gap there, right here, and I said, okay, well, let's try and straighten that out a little bit, and I'd grab this one, and I'd move it up to where it's supposed to be. You know, I say, okay, well, this whole leg is up a little bit here. It needs to be down. So, let's, okay, that looks pretty good. But the thing is, when I go back now to where I was, look what happens. It rip, it rips back to where he was, and that leg jumps down instead of him. I had him going down but this leg is going up at the same time and then it I got it fixed at this point but then when it goes up to here the leg rips again well I go okay uh, I guess I have to fix that you know so I'd move it up a little bit here but then when I do that it's ripped back here and let's say, see, but there's no keyframe there. So I have to go back to this one. Well, this one is ripped too. So I'd have to try and go back there and move this one. And you end up going around uh, his whole thing. And then when you when you don't see how now, look, I just finished that, but still it's ripped here. Even though I went back to this back spot, you know. So this is the problem of not having the keyframes or the uh, transformation point hooked right into the uh, registration point. And you'll end up with pieces, you know, way over here. And, I mean, if, suppose I put it over there, then it would see the, see the big rip it puts in it. It pulled, tries, to, tries to pull it back in, you know, but... It just seems like as I go along and try and do the movie clip, I spend more time trying to fix these rips, and not just in his legs, but in his whole body. His arms, I don't really seem to have a problem with it. But like I went up here and tried to uh, select his upper body and, and move his upper body over a little bit, and then his arm back. And I don't know, I guess because his arms uh, are on pretty much on the same thing, it's okay with it. But it's not very smooth, and you get this ripping. I mean, I don't even, I don't even remember moving this leg here up. And yet it's way up there. I mean, look at how far up that leg is. If you didn't see the other leg, which I can't try and make it disappear for you, but... And you see how high this one is? Look how high this this uh, leg is on. It. You know, I mean, it's way it's way up there. And it's it's not that I'm moving it around. It's just that every time I try and fix it, like if I go down here and grab this one, you know, I fix it there, great. But boom, it's ripped again. See it? And it happens all the way through your armature. So you end up just getting so disgusted with it after a while that you just want to go ahead and get rid of all those poses, you know. So you go in through and you say clear pose and clear pose and clear pose and clear pose. I, I guess... Um, if you got it right in the first place and you didn't use any of the uh, transformation tools on any part of it you might be able to 
But see how, I mean, that's what happens. Now I go back here to the beginning, and oh shit, it's, it's way out of whack, so now i got to grab this part and pull it up. And it probably won't be right in the part I just did. So let's see. Yeah, it's supposed to be the same thing. But, I mean, you know, you end up wanting to just clear all the poses. And uh, you do that by doing control uh, select on it. But, I mean, let's say I wanted to just move move him, like I was saying, I just want to make him like he's standing. And this leg wants to go back. So let's see if we can just, just make him move a little bit. So I'm moving that foot there. This one I want to come forward. See how high this leg is? Oh no, this leg is too high. And then when I, whenever I go and change it, it's gonna mess it all up. Yeah. And it's all because the where the bone is right there is not the same place that this one right here. See the registration, and that is way off. The registration needs to be the same pace as this plane, and it needs to be way the hell up there. So I'd have to go into this, grab the entire thing, move it down like this, and then go back out of it, and select it, and move this transformation point back there, and then move that leg back over. See, now his transformation point is up there. Now let's see if that'll help with this leg. See, now, now when I swing across, it's a little better. Yeah. But it's really hard as far as where you put your, I mean, to make it look realistic, you know. But anyway, let's say I just wanted to do this little bit. So, see, now look at that. See that leg jump way back down? That's because back here. This leg still has that bad transformation point in it. No, actually it doesn't. This has got the good transformation. I don't know, for some reason, uh, somehow it's still where it should be, but this leg is all messed up compared to it. Over here it's okay, you know, and this is what happens. And the, the whole character seems to come apart. So make sure that when you uh, start your character, you know, and you rig your character, like I was telling you before, you put it all on one armature. Put it on one layer. Every one of these uh, layers here, put each one of these layers on the same layer. You know, just go through and and copy each one. Like, co or, well, you know, take your, this one and copy this one and put it up on on a layer on one layer and then copy that part and that part and this part and this part and you know, put them on and make sure every one of them is in the right spot see how that registration point is in the wrong spot it needs to be up here and then the transformation point needs to be up here too shouldn't be down here it should be way up there so that when I move him I mean it's not going to work now because it's still in the wrong spot compared to the transformation point. The registration. It doesn't seem to matter when you first hook up the bones, but boy, when you go to move them, you know, just like you saw with that leg, it, it doesn't, it works here, but then when you go to the next one, watch, it'll change. See that leg change? And all of a sudden you're like, what the hell? How did this leg get way down there? Well, when you were back here messing around with it, and you changed something with the registration point, and the, uh, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure even how it works, but I know that uh, when it's off like that, and you change it, and you've got it on a tween like this, or an armature, which is a tween, basically, but I notice that when I have the character totally on one uh, level, I can change uh, parts of the body, like I can go in and change just both these legs, you know, and bring them down, and, and it doesn't seem to affect the uh, rest of the armature. It just makes it look like his legs go up a little bit. But see here how it affected the whole armature? It affected, 
it affected this leg it affected this leg you know and and it wasn't supposed to I was supposed to from this point I was trying to affect this this entire thing so I would have to go back here and straighten this out and this one looks okay select those two and then from there go to here you know and straighten it all out again but now I gotta go separately and grab each piece and it just seems like the farther along you go see now it moves up a little bit because you want to be able to move him uh, this way well I don't not with, not with I'm sorry um, you want to be able to move the armature this part and move it up and down like you you want to be able to grab the whole thing and go uh, okay in this frame I want all of it to move up you know and it does that no problem but what if, what happens when you want to move just one part of it you know what I mean what happens when you want to move just this one leg down or this one leg because sometimes like when a character falls back like when he jumps up there and he comes back down now let's say he's gonna come back down he comes down here and then this these legs are going to you know bend a little bit as he comes down I mean it works okay when you do the whole thing it's just when you, it seems like when you do little parts of it so see boom but even still you can you can just see that you see that registration point right there in the center moving see it it's right in the center by his belt I can't point to it and move the timer I mean I could do it like this and you would see it no you just see it move I'm trying to I was trying to stop it so that you can see this transformation point moves moves down as it goes along watch it there it is right there and you know you might want to do that you might want to select just his legs now and turn them like this I mean it's your business right you might say you want him to do that you know and it does do it sometimes but I find it when you got it on totally on a uh, one thing it's a it keeps a lot straighter and you don't have that tearing issue like look at that knee and it just does that through the whole thing so what you end up doing is taking all of these and turn and once you've got the the major move then you turn around and uh, do the whole thing because you want uh, what do you call it hesitation or uh, can't remember what they call it but like when a ball bounces it it has uh, momentum you know what I mean it stops for a second and bounces before it jumps or whatever and that's what you want him to be able to do but as you try and do that with with him and then you say oh well this knee is off or something if you if you do that and you put it back where it's supposed to be it looks fine here but watch when you go back see see that leg fall apart right there and look you but you straighten it out here you know but it looks bad back here because every time you change the transformation point compared to where it was and you do a tween you know just like I was showing you with before uh, when you whenever you do a uh, whenever you have an object like this and uh, you change it into a symbol Convert symbol and so you say it's symbol one you say okay and you go into it and you move that registration point wherever you want well let's put it right there on the edge now when you come out 
the transformation point is at the same place. But if you if if you go along here and do a tween, and you insert a keyframe, and do a classic tween, and then say, okay, over here, let's move it over here. Now it's going to move perfectly. But the problem is. Halfway in the video, you're right in here. You want to add another keyframe, and you go, Oh, yeah, I want to add another keyframe. So let's insert a keyframe. But here I wanted to, uh, you know, I, I want to turn it, you know, but you can't, you can't, you want to spin it, let's say, but you can't spin it from here because the transformation point's way over here, so you put it in the center and spin it. Right? But watch what that does, because now this transformation point is in the center. It's going to throw it all whacked out. Watch, see? Because it was there, mm, goes way out and back around to this other spot. So that's something you really have to be careful with. And I'm just letting people know, you know, how to build this armature to where he can walk decently and throw his punches or whatever and I have one with it all on one and it's a lot better each one of the I did I went in and I changed each one of these symbols made sure they each had their own name and uh, each one had its registration point in the right place like see even this registration point is way up there and the and the actual uh, transformation point is down here so all that makes a, a big difference only a little bit because see what it did to that leg and you'll try and fix it you know you'll be in here and you go oh I'm gonna try and fix it that's you're right let's move this up here and as soon as you do that it's gonna mess up something else yeah <laughs> it'll mess up the other leg I mean the whole depends on how much stuff you transform at one time so anyway that's uh part two of the uh, tutorial on bone lessons that I have learned and somehow you need to use both things at once and I don't know whether you maybe use a hot key control or something to be able to you know like if you just want to move his top of his body here you know can't you take it and move this down here and not select this back leg and say okay I want him to turn here leave his hands where they are I mean what happens if I do that see it does it it kind of does it so I'm not, I think it's possible to use both it's just that uh, you have to set it up correctly with the IKs all in the right place and when I set mine up I uh, put his arms like put his arm here and his, you know I mean if you look you can still do that and then look at the IK chain it's still there you know what I mean so you can set the so you can set the different parts of the character all up around him you know and then move it with the uh, transformation point move it back into place wherever you want I'm not gonna go through this character because I have the other one already set up but I'm not gonna go through every one of these and try and set this right where that's at which is right there is where it should be yeah and you see how it's all a uh, fill and now I've moved the center of the fill and broke it from this other fill so I don't want to do that you know and then you got to go through and select this part too you know now you're sitting here selecting little pieces of the stuff and you're trying to move it. Well, I missed one. Then you got to go Control Z to get it exactly where it was. But this is this. See that registration point? That's where it should be. And then if I move out, you see uh, the difference between the two. This is where it should be, and this is where it is. So then you take this and move this transformation point there and then move him where he's supposed to be and that's just one part of it if you had set it up beforehand rightly you wouldn't have that problem 
You know, I never uh, with the other one. I haven't had this kind of problems, but this is which how you can tell. You start moving it, and it just starts breaking all into different pieces. Like this thigh or this uh, calf is way over here. You know, it should be over here in in this boot. You know, but then when you move that now, and the boot and the shoe is off. So you try and move all of them back in. You know, and the more you, you try and fix it, the worse it gets. It's funny. <laughs> it's a real pain in the ass if you don't do it right. So those are the two uh, main things. See, watch. Well, it seems to be okay, but you see how that arm? I fixed the arm on the first part, but I didn't fix the rest. So you have to fix everything on this first frame. Because now I fixed the arm here on this frame, which is frame 5, but I didn't fix it over there. And it does just like that box that we were looking at. It'll jump from one place to the other. And next thing you know, your character will be in 50 million pieces. You know, and you're just trying to do one simple move with it. So, and the more you try and fix it, the worse it gets. So anyway, that's the error with doing it without putting the registration and the transformation points in the same place and moving the registration points. And I'm sure that you can move the registration points after you have it all set up right. You can move total parts of the body at once to help you, you know, do your tweaking as you do your animation. But you have to get it right to begin with. I'm not so sure whether you have to have everything on one layer like like this. Like this is all on one layer, but I'm pretty sure that all these are on the same layer. Yeah, see, now I've made all the other layers disappear and it's still on here. That's because I put it all on one layer. But I didn't didn't uh, do the thing with the registration points right. And then you start to build your armature and, and move them along and this is what happens. He starts to tear all over the place. Now, I've seen a lot of people talk about trying to make it one movie clip, you know, and uh, one instance, one symbol, you know, you can, like, you can select it all and make it one symbol. Uh, you know, just like any other symbol. I mean, it's too late now because it's already an armature, but you could select all this and and make it a symbol. Convert to symbol. And symbol one, let's call it, just for the heck of it. See what happens. Now see, that's a symbol all by itself. So now you'd have to go in there in order to, you know, move it so I don't know um, I guess that's what you would do and then you would put an armature here you know you would make an armature you would use the bone tool and you'd have to go all through it because I don't think it's in armature mode let's see yeah see now there is no armature in here but you could put an armature in there and then make it a symbol and then I think you could like do a certain move within this symbol and then see how it says symbol one here you could that could be you know symbol walking symbol and then you go back out to scene one you know and you could have different symbols for them then somehow you could match this stance you know if you put his boot right back and everything you could match his stance for a run or walk or you know then you could switch symbols, you know, probably in the definitions of the library, you know, you could go in and go, okay, switch symbol, you know. Somewhere in here you can, there's duplicate, so I know there's a way that you can switch symbols too. And maybe that's how you switch from one part to the other, because I was trying the other day to switch it from walking to, you know, something else, like I opened uh, walking, you know, uh, well, that's this old thing game. But I opened him walking the other day, and you know this one, him walking, and then I wanted to make him run. Well, this is a symbol already. If you click on it, it's a it's a 
movie clip symbol Zoltan. But uh, how do you how do you get from this symbol, which if you go into has got its own movie clip, to the other symbol, which is him running? You know how do you transition between the two symbols? I'm not sure yet without it being too jerky and stuff. But anyway, that that's a whole different subject, you know. I mean, this one still works fine. If if I take him and I move him from here and go insert keyframe, and I create a motion tween, and at this part I put him way over here, and back here I want him way over here, and I create a classic tween, now you'll see him watch. He's walking right along. That's way too fast, but I mean, all I gotta do is press F5. Or you can control it with action script. See, there he is walking along. So I wanna be able to make him, you know, jump or whatever I want him to do. And in order to do that, I had to get those IK frames straight, so that's what we're working on now. And this is the big problem. I was trying to show you in the other video, but uh, I didn't really clarify. I, mean, I was trying to point out the difference between the registration point, because a lot of people don't realize that registration point is where that transformation point has to be. It somehow affects, I know it's like global to local, yeah, you've heard of global to local variables, but this is like a global to local uh, referencing. Yeah. And when you go out of it, that's got to be in the exact same spot. And you look at like this one here, it's nowhere near the same spot. There's the registration point. And when you go out of it, there's the uh, transformation point. And I bet it's the same thing here, it's way off. See? There's the transformation point way up there, and yet the registration point or the transformation point is way down here. So each thing has like that much difference, and like I was trying to show you with the square, you know, when you when you uh, when you have even a little bit of difference between this and this, and you move it, it changes how far that's going to go on the next frame you know what I mean if I move if I move this way over here uh, now watch it I mean it changed this whole where this comes from before this started here but but look where it goes to it goes way the hell over there first and then it comes back to where we wanted it to be where it was so I really don't understand how it's doing it what it is that it's doing but I know that uh, it has to do with that registration point and the uh, transformation point anyway I don't want to I don't want to let you know about how many things I don't know but good luck with it thanks for watching